you won two Grammys. Yeah. Uh, now that was a, like, you know, a, a huge event for, for any artist. Yeah. Um, I read this morning that you've got Sarah Palin to thank for uh, your success <laughs> in America. It is, in a certain kind of a way. Yeah, no, did, yeah, um, I did, well, Saturday Night Live, I did that in the kind of, like, early autumn of 2008. Mm. And before that, I did a tour in, like, May or June, <clears throat> like a small tour, but across the, <clears throat> across North America. And, um, and then the show that really broke me was Saturday Night Live, and the week I was doing it was Josh Brolin was hosting, which I was really excited about, because I love the Goonies. Mm. And, of course, our country, Frog Men. And, um, and then Sarah Palin, everyone was going, oh, yeah, Sarah Palin's on next week, where are we? and Coldplay with a musical guest. And then something in the campaign changed, and she came in. But I heard that Tina Fey was going to be on the show, so when I saw Sarah Palin, I was going, Tina, Tina! No, <laughs> no one looked back, of course. She just walked off with her million security. Um, but, yeah. yeah, she ended up being on it, and then kind of word spread like wildfire, and then... Because um, that was like, the highest rate in yeah. years, wasn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing, and that was also the night I met Rick Rubin, who ended up producing the, quite a bit of the record. So well, this this is going like a dream because I was just about to mention it. <laughs> and, and Paul Epworth as well. Yeah, the, the two main producers yeah. of this record. So that came about because you met him that night. Yeah, I met him there. He was in mm. New York. Yeah, doing okay. some doing something businessy, I guess. What, what's he like to work with? He's amazing. Yeah. He's really. Really like it's just all about the song, like all about the music, like so isolating in the studio, but in a really great way. And we just vibed until it felt right, and it was there was no listen like referencing to things in the charts that were like doing well or whatever, and seeing what was hot and what was not. And there yeah. was no samples used. It was all I could sit here now and play the entire record completely live without any electricity. You know, it was just so organic, and it was just a complete honour to be given that opportunity. So they weren't saying, "No, we got this one that sounds like Lady Gaga." <laughs> no, no. no, and the oh, band. Yeah. The band were insane. Yeah. They all played on like voodoo and miseducation of Lauren Hill, and I was sitting there like, yeah, I remember that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what little criticism there was of the first album, there wasn't much because it, was, mm. it was very well received, but what there was that suggested that um, maybe your songwriting and lyrics weren't quite as sophisticated yeah. as your voice. Yes. Do you think you've gone some way to kind of rectify that situation here? Yeah, no, I made a, it was a very, I made a huge effort to really kind of. Um, just swim in music for a while and there was a point where I just sat in my house and it wasn't a way of being like an egotistical thing and being like yeah well I'm gonna make sure my songs are as like well they think they're as good as my voice or whatever um, but it was just like to prove myself because I want to be a career artist I want to show mm. growth and development and progression and stuff like that so I just literally just sat in my house for like three weeks and didn't really leave apart from just take the dog for a walk and um, just listen to loads of music and like catalogues of music, listen to loads of hip hop, loads of country, loads of pop, loads of stuff I like already, stuff I don't even like, and just trying, you know, just trying to kind of understand what it is about that song that moves me or where it peaks, what bit why it, or why I think it peaks and stuff like that. And um it's just kind of studying it all and um I feel like um I just don't think that like, this record's perfect or nothing, but I feel like the songs are a massive um step up from the last record and that yeah. might also be because the last record was m mainly all me written all by me me playing it you know piano mm. guitar whatever like stripped back whereas this one they're much bigger productions which is because i did a lot of co-writes more on this record than on the last record because i know four chords mm. so 21 would have been like 19.1 kind of thing right. you know i mean we're all sounded the same because i only know the same chords so by getting other people's opinions and creative bits and bobs in everywhere, yeah. I think it's really helped me develop as a, as a writer and as an art and as a singer. OK, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to 24. It's <laughs> 48, actually, the next one. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Depends how this one does, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. All right, well, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. really good. And um, good luck with the record and everything else. Thank you very much. Right. See you around. Put your plate, it's your plate.